Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me. Once again, welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw visiting my mom's house. Anyway, uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing Bo is Afraid. Now, Bo is Afraid is directed by Ari Aster, famous for Hereditary and Midsommar. And in this film, we follow Joaquin Phoenix as Bo, as he's trying to schedule a flight appointment to go and see his mother. But when uh, he has to delay his flight multiple times because something happens that causes him to not him being able to go to his flight. As he tends to uh, get to his mother's place uh, other ways, he then stumbles upon uh, different people along the way. And things start going fine until later down the line, or honestly, like any time. Like, even the beginning, he is having some rough times. I really don't know how I should describe this whole thing to you, because it's impossible not to spoil. This is another one of those movies where... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I love talking about these types of movies, because just like with Midsommar, which divided a lot of people, critics loved it, but, but audiences were just very split on it. If you thought Midsommar was bizarre, oh my god, you haven't seen anything. I mean... Wow. Ari Aster has a very twisted mind. Like, the way this movie starts up to how it concludes, it's... <laughs> okay, first of all, I should point out that this movie is three hours long. If you do not like uh, lengthy movies, chances are that you're probably not going to even bother with this one. And while I will certainly say I don't feel like three hours is really necessary, there are other types of movies that uh, definitely do earn their runtime like RRR or John Wick Chapter 4, but I feel like, well, I'll get to that later, but there are a lot of things that I can praise for this movie, specifically Joaquin Phoenix. He's terrific in the movie, okay? Undeniably, like, almost everything he does is amazing. Like, he goes from playing the Joker, one of the most feared movie villains of all time, to a guy that's afraid throughout most of the runtime, and you honestly feel bad for Bo. I felt really bad for him once the movie started, because he just lives in a town that treats him like garbage. Like, he gets treated very poorly. Even when things start going his way, things start getting a lot worse. Okay, the reason why I moved away is because there were bees that kept buzzing. Uh, but anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. And Ari Aster's direction is absolutely outstanding too. Like, the way the entire thing is set up, it's set up into like multiple different like pieces. I mean, not really in chapters, but this is a movie that uh, tends to change with every like 40 minutes or so like Bo will go from a different area that seemed normal enough but then things go haywire getting saved by these two parents who have a daughter who starts going insane when uh he stays over there and there's other situations too that i should not get into but people are going to be confused by what's going on like people are going to have like absolutely no clue what they're getting into and <sighs> That, that final act, like, I feel like that's another thing he's going to be known for. His final acts being probably just, like, what just happened. And undeniably, this is one that's going to be talked about a lot. And the movie really earns its R rating. Like, it's violent. There is a lot of moments, or some moments, that might, might have made it an NC-17 rated film. But, of course, we rarely ever get those, so... I mean, Midsommar, I'm surprised, didn't get an NC-17 rating, because that... Just, I, sh I shouldn't even be going, be going through all this. Just Now, where well, the movie kind of faltered for me, like, I was really enjoying most of my time spent with the movie, but when it gets to the halfway point, there's like, there's like this scene involving a play that lasts like 30 minutes. It has some really unique animation style, I'll give it that, but it kind of took me away from the movie. Like, I get why it's in the movie, it's just... I, it really made, made me feel like I was watching something else, and while a lot of the times it made me feel like I was watching something else, but I feel like they had a lot more of a purpose. This, I just feel like, I don't know, but it really picks up after that scene, like, I feel like that's where I feel like the movie should have been cut a little bit, but some people might think that the movie's slow moving. I honestly felt like the pacing is actually worth it, just like with Hereditary. I watched that movie multiple times, and it just gets better with each viewing. But in the end, guys, Bo is Afraid is a really unique film. It's by far Ari Aster's weakest film, but I can't say that it's bad. It's far from that. It's unique. It's uh, insane when it comes to its storyline. And it has a really, really crazy twist that I didn't see coming. There are tons of moments throughout this movie where you're just... It's very unpredictable. 
So that's another thing that Ari Aster manages to do. Make a film that's just completely unpredictable, and it's still, and it's definitely going to divide a lot of people. As an, it's not getting as much love from critics as his last two films, but either way, I still recommend watching the movie. Just, <laughs> though, I don't think you're going to get it on your first viewing because you do have to think about what's going on because there's just so much going on throughout this movie that you're not going to understand. But I feel like, I, I feel like it's all worth it because I feel like Ari Aster has something to say with this one. It's just that, you know, with all of A24's other horror films, most of them have something to say. Like, uh, with Alex Garland's Men, like, critics were very divisive, but audiences absolutely hated that one. I feel like this is probably going to get much more love than that film, but either way, I, I can still say this is another great one in Ari Aster's library of films. And of course, I will be seeing Evil Dead Rise. I am really looking forward to that one. So I uh, look forward to my review for that when I have that out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Ward out.